Now, we 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Grace, I have to tell you, it is so cold out there this morning. It is the coldest morning we've had all week. And yesterday, all that sunshine was deceptive because I literally thought if I go outside, it'll be warm right now. Yes. I had to hightail it back in. Yeah. That's exactly right. We <laughs> stayed in the low 50s for our high temperatures, right. which if you think about it, you're only at your high for a few hours, meaning we were in the 40s for most of the day. Wow. The good news is that's not the case today. Our sunshine this afternoon is going to go to work, but we're going to have to see the sunshine before it can actually go to work. First thing this morning, we're looking at ice on the windshield ahead of a bitter, bitter cold morning in the Tennessee Valley. This is more than just the internal warm air from the car vent can handle. So I'm going to say bring your ice scraper and give yourself an extra three, maybe five minutes this morning as you head out the door so that you're not late to work. Take a look right now at the Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. A calm, lovely, and beautiful sight, but a chilly one at that. Our wake-up temperatures are sitting only in the mid and lower 30s, meaning that we are frigid this morning. So grab the winter coat, grab the gloves, and an extra warm hug from your sweetie as you head out the door on this Valentine's Day. 548 on 31 Triple Doppler, and not one drop of rain, nor will there be for the rest of the day today. As we head through the rest of the morning, that sunshine already making a difference from where we were yesterday. By 9 a.m., it's really going to work, and we're already sitting in the low 40s. By the time we get to later this afternoon, we'll reach our high temperature well above average for this time of year, about 7 or 8 degrees or so. We'll be sitting in the low 60s. A whole lot of sunshine and a nice breeze today. So eat your lunch outside if you can, take the kids up to the park after school. Whatever you can do to soak up the beautiful sunny weather, I recommend you do it. And hey, Chris, Demetria, are you ready for this one? I made it all myself at 3 o'clock in the morning. Did it hurt when you hell from, fell from heaven? Tonight's dinner time temperature will be 57. So supportive, so supportive. If you are headed out to Valentine's Day dinner tonight, you're going to want a coat with you, but not as heavy of a coat as you're going to need this morning. It will be chilly, but it will not be downright cold. And that 57 degrees is when you're starting dinner. Expect mid to low 50s by the time dinner wraps up. Thursday and through the rest of this weekend, there's a whole lot of change in the forecast. Thursday is spring-like with 66 degrees and sunshine and a really nice breeze. Send as much time outside Thursday as you can because Friday and Saturday, you likely won't want to. The temperatures stay consistent on Friday, sitting in the mid-60s, but isolated rain moves through in the afternoon, with stronger rain coming overnight and cloud cover all day long. That rain is coming with a cold front, and that really goes to work with us on Saturday. We move from 64 degrees on Friday for our high to just 45 degrees on Saturday for our high, so about 20 degrees difference in just 24 hours' time. Now, this system is not like our normal ones. Normally, we track rain from northeast Mississippi in to Georgia. This one we're tracking from Nashville south to Birmingham. So that rain pushes into southern Tennessee Friday by about 3 o'clock and continues to build as we head through the rest of the evening. This is not going to be an all-out washout, but there will be periods of heavy rain on your Friday night. So I wouldn't go canceling plans. If they're outdoors, I would. But in general, I wouldn't go canceling your plans. But I would bring an umbrella and rain jacket with you if you are headed out and about on the town. Saturday, we have that cloudy weather and cooler temperatures. And when you wake up Sunday morning, just 27 degrees, absolutely bitter cold there. So make sure you bundle up. The good news is by the time we get to the middle of next work week, we have temperatures knocking on the door of 70.